I'm Yvette Rios, and tonight I'm throwing a little dinner party for some friends in honor of Earth Day. And it's all gonna be about reuse, so I'm coming to one of my favorite places for great secondhand finds, the Chelsea Goodwill. And what I love about the Goodwill is that any donations you give them and proceeds from any purchases go towards programs that help people with disabilities and other barriers to employment. So let's see what they have. So now for my dinner party, I'm gonna need some cups. And these are some great ones right here. I really am trying to pick glasses that are all clear, but I love the fact that they're different sizes and they have different patterns, because that's gonna look really, really cool when I do my paint treatment on them. It's nice to have a smooth surface, because anything that's got too much texture is gonna be harder to paint on. Six, perfect. See, I always find what I need when I come to the Goodwill. So now I'm gonna take all this stuff back to the house and see what I can make of it. So I just got back to my little makeshift studio, which is also my dining room. And so for this project, we're actually gonna be stenciling on images to make, you know, like a collection of glasses instead of a hodgepodge of all sorts of different ones. And I've got a sheet right here. I printed it out on sticker paper. The image that you pick, you wanna make sure that the silhouette is really great because a lot of the detail of it isn't gonna be transferred over. So you wanna make sure that the silhouette lets people know exactly what it is and just cut it out as, as detailed as you can. And I um, just figured I would do these about four inches because that was approximately the size that I wanted to use for the glass. So I've got my stencil here that's all nice and cut out. And I'm gonna use a little bit of scotch tape and I'm gonna seal up my stencil so that it's solid on all sides. And I'm taping the front side of it, not the back side, because the back side actually gets pulled off. That's the sticky part. Under the seat, doo -doo -doo. and I'm just gonna peel off the backing. So before I put the sticker on there though, ooh, 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 I always forget this, I need to make sure to clean it with alcohol. You grab your rubbing alcohol. Okay, that's pretty good, perfect. Then I'm gonna take my stencil and I'm gonna stick it right on. Probably isn't gonna fit going up and down, but I want it to look like it's kind of a, like a sea animal really swimming. So I'll put it at an angle on my glass. You wanna make sure that you actually scrape it down as much as possible around the outside of the stencil because you want the sticker paper to really stick well. You're not gonna get paint that's gonna bleed underneath the stencil and that's important. Cool. And then what I'm gonna do is just trim off the excess on the side so it's just easier to handle. It's time to paint. These are gloss enamel paints from Deco Art. It's great for painting on glass and ceramics. And what I love about it is once you're done painting, you stick it in the oven for about a half an hour at 350 degrees and it bakes it on nice and strong. It's like the only baking I ever do. So you put them in when the oven is cool, set it to 350, leave it for a half an hour, and then let it cool down for a little bit before you take it out. So what I like to do is I like to use one of these handy dandy egg cartons to kind of mix your paint colors. So I'm gonna start with some true blue. And to make a tealy color, I'm just gonna add a little bit of green. And you want, you know, a pretty good art brush. And you're just gonna rub the paint right on. And you can just over, you know, go right over the stencil. And you wanna make sure you do a really nice thin coat of paint. You don't wanna glob it on too much. And then you let that dry and kind of put the next coat. I got my first coat on, so I'm just gonna let that dry for a little bit and then hit it with my second coat. So it seems pretty dry, so now it's time for the second coat. And uh, you know, when you're putting your second coat, you just don't wanna lift up the paint underneath. So just do it nice and lightly. And you wanna have enough paint on your brush so it's like really gliding. And you know, you could always do a third coat, but this is actually a nice dark color, so I'm getting an opaque finish, which I really like. And now we wait for that to dry. So now I'm gonna peel off my stencil, but before I do, I um, am taking a little X-Acto blade, so I'm just gonna trace around my image, just to kind of break, break the seal. It just makes sure that um, the stencil doesn't pull up any color with it, and now it's time to peel it off. So now I'm gonna lift. Our turtle is done, I'm just gonna grab a little alcohol and just kind of rub around it. Um, it's supposed to dry for 48 hours, two days before you actually stick it into the, um, into the oven. Perfect, not bad. But I wanna show you guys some of the other finished ones because I think they turned out pretty cool. So I've got my red turtle and a seahorse and a penguin, so cute. 
So for more great painting ideas, head to decoart.com, or if you need ideas on how you can reuse secondhand stuff, check out The Goodwill on Twitter and on Facebook. Cheers. Not bad.